Hi folks, Tim again. Tonight we're going to take a look at the Dell again uh, with, instead of a virtual machine, I've actually installed Ubuntu Mate on my old Dell, what used to be my web server. Um, I've got a roughly 500 gig partition set aside for the um, Ubuntu. I also have a Windows 10 500 gig partition minus all the extra partitioning Windows slap down there for recovery and other BS. Uh, to tell the truth, in the last week, I have booted to Windows 10 once. And I want to show you why. This thing pretty much screams. So, we're in Ubuntu Mate. Uh, I've installed Chrome. It flies. Um, I can sit here and watch TV. It works like a champ. Um, the network came right up and connected. Uh, my sound is just as good as in Windows. There's no glitches in the video. Um, I could bounce around. Uh, what I am going to do uh, is the audio for this video is being recorded on my phone. I'm going to stitch the two together right here in this project called the Dell 745. And I'm going to paste, just drag the files down onto the timeline here, and then export it as a YouTube video. Pretty cool. It's amazing how good Linux is. But in the meantime, we need some new wallpaper here. So, we're going to switch back over to Chrome. We're going to go grab us a... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Uh, F14 or something. Yeah. And by the way, I'm getting the same video quality out of this uh, in Linux as I did um, in my old Windows 7 install and in Windows 10. It, it really does scream. So, it works very well. And... I sort of like this one. That's cool. That'll work. We're going to view that. We're going to save that image in pictures. And I hit save right there. And then I'm going to show you how quick we can just. We're going to change that wallpaper. Well, add whatever it was, I just downloaded it. I guess it would have paid to look at it, wouldn't it? Hopefully that's not the one I just downloaded. Because if it is, that's not the one I wanted. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh, that works. So, we're done. Wallpaper changed. Looks a little more to my liking. Um, just one of my favorite airplanes. This thing, everything is just way quick on it compared to, uh, you know, when you run it inside of a virtual machine. And we got a bunch of stuff running. I got the simple screen recorder going. That's going over on... Uh, right here. That's actually recording the video right now. Um, we can open a file just as easy as you can be and edit it any way we want. We're not going to edit anything today because I've showed you enough of the GIMP always. Um, I was easily able to map a network drive here. That's the uh, little thumb drive in my USB port. 64 gig thumb drive in my USB port on my router. Um, I did a video on that the other day right here called Map the USB Drive on Your Router in Ubuntu Mate. But I'll show you how it's done real quick. Um, you go to home base here and you can go to file and then you would connect to a server. You're going to type in your IP address of your 
router or your other machine and then you're going to pick out Windows Share and you're going to name the share. No, I've already done it. We don't need to map it twice. Um, just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, currently, and, and it's quick, there is a whole bunch of stuff in here uh, off that machine and it, it moves stuff pretty quick. Got my copy of MS Office up there. Probably won't need that in here since I have LibreOffice. Uh, right here, let's say I want to open a, a document. Um, mm -hmm. Boom. And there it is. Here's a little info thing I wrote for people telling them because the product is for sale. Uh, to change their passwords. Um, pretty basic, and it's actually right on the desktop here. I could have saved that in a Word format, but why bother? They're already in here. Uh, an 8 gigabyte computer with a dual core processor running Linux really, really is fast. This thing is probably 20% faster in Linux than it would be in Windows 10. And there's nothing wrong with Windows 10, but everything in here is free. I needed a, a FTP program the other day. Uh, there it is, FileZilla, downloaded it. I, I put Chrome on here. I've got all my bookmarks, everything. Uh, there are things you can do uh, in Linux that you can't. You're not going to get a video editor like OpenShot. Um, for Windows, for free. It's just not going to happen. Or a simple screen recorder, which took a little bit to install. I had to add the repository and then install the program, but I looked up on my own website where I'd done that and uh, it was quite simple. So, first off, somebody should buy this. But even if you're not in the market to buy a computer, if you have an old one sitting around that you set aside because you've got a brand new shiny one, and the other one had Vista or XP on it, go ahead and download Ubuntu Linux and, uh, with your new shiny computer. And there's a program out there called Rufus for... It's super easy to make an ISO out of a flash drive, and poof, you can go ahead and install it by booting to the flash drive, USB drive, whatever you want to call it, and you'll be pleasantly surprised how fast your old computer is. As a matter of fact, you might kick yourself in the ass for buying a new computer. We all have to learn somewhere. Uh, that's all I have for tonight. Uh, by the way, this computer is available on Craigslist in Western Kentucky. If you're not in Western Kentucky, don't bother contacting me. Uh, for $115 with Linux on it. I'll leave Windows 10 on it if you want. Or, or I'll put Windows 10 on it alone. I also have Windows 7 if you want that. Uh, that's up to you. Uh, but other than that, um, that's all we have for today. Just thought I'd throw this out there. And on that note, we are going to stop this recording.